Hi, I'm Bob Power, and we're very pleased to have with us today Simon Allen, CEO of Cobar Inc., which trades on our OTCQX market under the symbol CWBR. Simon, welcome to the Market Center. Thank you, Bob. Tell us about Cobar and what your company does. Uh, we're a biotechnology company dedicated to the treatment of age-related diseases such as diabetes, obesity, cancer, cardiovascular, and neurodegenerative disease. Our technology is based on the mitochondria. Uh, mitochondria are components within our cell that are responsible for taking the nutrients that we eat and converting it into the energy that our body needs. Now, the mitochondria has its own genetic material, its own DNA, that's different from the nuclear genome. And within this mitochondrial genome, there are encoded peptides that we've identified and we're currently developing that have been shown to be messengers within and between cells, help regulate our metabolism, and influence the actual process of aging. As we age, mitochondrial function declines, and the expression of these peptides also declines. And so at Cobar, we've identified these peptides, and we're now developing them for a wide range of age-related diseases. In fact, our lead program, MOTC, is in development for type 2 diabetes, obesity, and fatty liver disease. What are the opportunities and hurdles for developing drugs that treat diseases associated with aging? Mm, the opportunities are immense. Um, Age-related disease is the number one killer in our society today. Approximately two and a half people die of an age-related disease as they do of a communicable or an injury. Uh, we expect that number to be as high as 17 to 1 by 2060. So it is something that we have to address as a society. Um, the opportunities, I think, if you look at the pharmaceutical companies today, they've done a good job of developing therapies for age-related diseases, but there's still substantial unmet medical need, whether it be in their efficacy, safety, or convenience. Cobar is developing a very novel therapeutic class based on the mitochondrial-derived peptides that works with a new mechanism of action. And that has the potential to provide superiority, whether it be in efficacy, safety, and convenience. And the markets that we're actually addressing are measured in the tens of billions of dollars. And so by doing this, and if we're successful, I think the opportunity will be immense. Thanks. Talk about how your products and technology are different than your competitors. Hmm. Um, unlike some of the other biotechs that look to improve the qualities or properties of existing therapies or find new applications for existing therapies, we're a leader in mitochondrial-derived peptides. And so where we're different is this novel class of therapeutics, which has the potential to be quite disruptive. If we're successful in what we do, I think you will find that these therapies could be very um, successful from a commercial perspective as well as from a clinical perspective and bring a tremendous amount of value. Talk about the key elements of your business plan and what your near-term goals are for COBAR. Uh, we operate under a semi-virtual business plan. And what that means is we bring in the proprietary and critical activities internally to COBAR. We've been very careful to build expertise in activities such as cell-based screening, the assays that we run, as well as some of the analytical processes that we run. They're very important to what we do and very critical to the discovery and development of these therapeutics. Other activities, such as manufacturing, regulatory, and clinical, we outsource to a very competitive third-party market. And what this provides is a tremendous amount of flexibility in our operations, as well as cost savings. I think if you compare our burn rate to a traditional biotech that's taken a wider investment in some of those activities I've mentioned, you'll find that their burn rate is substantially higher than what we have here at Cobar, which leads us to believe we can do a lot more with less. Uh, Cobar joined our OTCQX market in May of 2015. Could you talk about the motivation for that and how it's been so far on our market? Yeah, it's been great. Uh, we had an IPO on the Toronto Venture Exchange in January of 2015, and shortly thereafter uh, listed on the OTCQX. And that was an important step for us because it provided access to the U.S. capital markets. It was a very convenient exchange for U.S. investors to take a position in our company. And I think it was a very important step for an emerging company such as Cobar in its ultimate goal on listing on NASDAQ. What else would you like investors to know about Cobar? Uh, I would encourage everybody to take a look at our team. 
whether it be our scientific founders or our scientific team and everybody at Cobar that's associated with the company, um, that the experience and quality and expertise of these individuals is striking. Um, we have a very fortunate position of having access to some of the preeminent opinion leaders in mitochondrial sciences, as well as the process of aging, the development of therapies for age-related diseases, as well as just clinical and regulatory development. Um, I believe that a team at a biotech company is the number one attribute for success, and happy to report that Cobar is well suited in that regard. Well, Simon, thank you for visiting with us here at the Market Center. We wish you continued success. Uh, thanks very much, Bob. Okay, thanks.